Hello everybody! Um, so, I have like this sty on my eye or some other really annoying um, irritation on my eye, so I can't fully get ready, but I still wanted to film. Um, so I thought I still have the other half of my face that I could do makeup on <laughs> to get ready for a video, and I decided to just turn that into a video and to see how different I really look with makeup on anyway. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back out of my face and that's what we're gonna be doing today. I am um, makeup on half my face. I am going to be doing a autumnal look. So like a berry lip and such. Got my trusty beauty blender here. Um, because tis the season. I hope I didn't get too much for only half my face. I guess we'll see. Won't we? My gosh, it's so much foundation. I think I got too much. Oh well, we started it now. So I'm doing the left half of my face because the right eye is the eye that is irritated. And I can't put makeup on it. Tis not allowed. Or it could make it worse. So we won't do. That side of my face feels really quite strange only doing half my face. Alrighty. Now that my foundation is sufficiently blended, do I even look that different yet? I feel like I don't. Alright. Moving on to concealer, my trusty CoverGirl concealer. I'm gonna do the under eye naturally. Obviously. And different spots that I have. So. And we shall blend this sucker out. Just blending away, you know. Tis the life. Alrighty, do I look different yet? No? Yes? Maybe? Next, I'm gonna go in with my powder. It's my powder that I normally use. Just my... Ah! Dropping things. Just my Sabella powder. There we go. I think that's sufficiently set. <laughs> Next, I am gonna go ahead and bronze. I've seen other videos like similar-ish. Well, almost like the exact same thing, actually. I've seen people do the whole half of your face thing, but none of them that I've seen ever mention how weird it feels to only do half of your face. Next, I'm gonna go in with my blush. Gonna blush it up. Blush is done. That, I feel like, does make a difference. It looks, it looks so weird with <laughs> only half my face. All right, just gonna highlight a bit. A little bit down the nose, right? Okay. Now that, look at, I'm highlighted. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. Next, I'm gonna do my brow. Notice how I said brow instead of brows. By the way, if you're wondering why I keep looking over here, it's a mirror. I've got a mirror over here because I'm not good enough to just do it in the viewfinder or just not look. <laughs> So 
So, just brushed it out. My little spoolie. Then, because I have dyed my hair, I take some black eyeshadow and my angled brush, and I'm just gonna fill it in. Well, the brows are making all the difference. That has made the most difference so far, and it looks crazy. It looks like those videos that you see that they put that like goopy uh, tint stuff and then they like peel it off. It looks like I've done that to my eyebrow, but before I've peeled it off. <laughs> All right, I am going to just set that in place with some brow gel because this is tinted um, gel in deep brown. I just put a very, very light amount and kind of blend it into the shadow so it doesn't look strange. <laughs> Gelled down, and I'm looking like a freak show. All right, eyeshadow time. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do an autumnal, more darker look, and I think I'm gonna go for like a gold and bronze color palette for my eyeshadow this time. So I've got the Eye Candy palette by Sabella, and I'm going to be using primarily these three colors. Primarily. And then probably this one for a bit of highlight in certain areas. First, I'm going to take this brown. Right there. I'm going to kind of put it all over my lid, staying mainly in the crease. And just a little bit above, you know? Next, going in with this dark color right into the crease, in the crease only. Ta-da! Um, then, I'll be taking the gold color, putting that from inner corner and blending it out. Alrighty, I'm gonna be taking some of that first brown and putting it under the outer part of my eye. Not all the way across like halfway. Next I'm going to be taking that color, like I said, and that's going to go on the very inner corner to brighten that up. All right, sufficiently bright, enough. Then I'm going to take it and put it under the brow. Got to highlight that under brow area, you know. All right, that's it for eyeshadow. I'm going to call it on eyeshadow. I like hiccuped. It's still looking pretty strange in the eyebrow this dark. <laughs> Even with the eyeshadow, like, but I think it'll look better when mascara comes into play because I think mascara just makes everything better. Don't you agree? Got my trusty Revlon liquid liner. Um, I'm gonna just cat eye this real quick here and then we'll move on to mascara. If I can twist it open. This takes a gentle touch. But be right back because I really don't think I can do this without my nose an inch from the mirror. Oh my gosh, you guys. I figured out the secret to success for a cat eye. Do you wanna hear it? Always only ever do one because the other one then doesn't have to match and your first one will always look amazing. That's the secret. If you're curious, you're welcome. Next mascara, um, my trusty Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I love this stuff. It is the Luscious Full Fan Effect one. My other one is the same type, but waterproof. Um, but I love this stuff. I swear by it. I swear I swear by it. It's great. Like, seriously, I mean it. Buy it. Ta-da! Now, I mean, look. My eyebrow doesn't look as, like, strange, you know? Mascara, I'm telling you, it's like the miracle drug for your face. Because that made sense. It did. I promise. But it just, like, ties in the whole thing, you know? Like, it makes it look less weird. Alright. Ah! I just almost knocked over my camera. Getting too excited up in here. Alright. Gonna calm down. Gonna calm down. 
Alright, for my lips, uh, half a lips. Half a lips? Lips? It's still two lips, it's just half of two lips. Um, again, sticking with the whole autumnal themed makeup. I'm gonna go for a darker lip. Um, I'm going to be lining my lips with Plum Crazy lip liner after I pick it back up. And then I'm going to be wearing my Plum Berry lipstick. All plummy. Purple and plummy. I love this stuff. It's almost gone because I use it so much. Alright, gonna just line them. Mwah, looking pretty. And then fill it in. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I like wearing the liner like just by itself because it's so pretty. Like it's such a pretty liner. Plus when I wear the liner by itself, it's matte. And I like matte things. Alright, lipstick time. And voila! Half of my face done with makeup. Does it really make it look that different? In your opinion. I feel like it doesn't. Though that could be just me. Let's see. I need something. This'll do. Okay. Side without makeup. Got it? Side with makeup. You guys can make your own judgment on what you think. But, here's them together. Makeup again. No makeup. What do you guys think? Does it make that much of a difference? Um, again, I just don't think so. I think the biggest difference is in my eyebrow. <laughs> like, it just looks more there. This one just looks like it's nothing now in comparison. But there you have it. Now you guys know what I look like. Um with and without makeup at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I hope you guys could enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. I shall see you guys next time. Bye! It's kind of fun actually. Like I kind of enjoy looking at it like this. I almost don't want to take it off. Almost. I wish I could have done like a full face on it because I like this look. But I can't put anything near this eye right now, so that's just not gonna happen.